because it's an external hardware synth, it takes some different setups to get the HydroSynth talking to your DAW with MPE. You'll need to send it MIDI either through 5-pin DIN or through USB, and you'll need to send the audio from the ASM into your sound card. But that's just the hardware setup. How you set the software up in the DAW really varies from DAW to DAW. So I'm going to go through four popular different uh, workstations. And hopefully if you don't have one of these four, yours is going to be pretty similar or you can extrapolate and figure it out. So I'm going to start with Logic because it's probably the simplest. Um, really all you need to do is add a track uh, software instrument and select uh, utility external instrument and stereo. And then we can create that track and we'll go to our channel bus and open up the instrument interface. Here we set our MIDI destination to Hydrosynth and we'll want all of our MIDI channels to go to the Hydrosynth. And our input will be however you have your inputs configured on your device for audio. So once that is going, we are able to send our polyphonic data from the morph to the hydrosynth, and it just works. Next, we'll take a look at Bitwig Studio, and this is also pretty simple to set up. So in the controllers, I have the Sensor Morph MPE script loaded and engaged. And then I have an instrument track, and I'll just go ahead and add an instrument. And what we want to look for is the hardware instrument. Um, this is just a hardware category, and we can select OK. And then what we want to do is select our output to go to the Hydrosynth. I have it connected via USB, so it shows up with that name. And I will want to keep the channels, so we have our channels 2, 3, 4, etc. coming from all of our touches on the morph. And of course, we'll want to use MPE. And then the audio inputs we'll be getting from uh, stereo on three and four. So now when we play it, we're getting the uh, MIDI to the hardware and then we're getting the audio back from it into our DAW. And we can treat it just like we can any other uh, software plugin. When we take a look at Live 11, which adds MPE, uh, it's pretty similar to how Bitwig treats it, but there's a couple other things you'll need to know. So we'll click on a MIDI track, and from our Instruments tab in the browser, we'll just drag an external instrument in. And again, the MIDI goes to Hydrosynth. We want to select here, we want to select MPE. And then our audio is going to be from Stereo 3 and 4, because that's how I have it set up and we will listen. So we can hear we're getting the polyphonic data to our synthesizer. And coming back into live as audio. Finally, we'll take a look at Cubase, which has the most involved setup for an external instrument. You can set it up in sort of the simple way where you have a MIDI channel and an audio channel that listens to the inputs. I'm going to set it up at an external instrument, and you have to kind of create that on your own, which has a lot of flexibility, but it is less simple than what we saw in Live, Logic, and Bitwig. So we'll go to the Studio Audio Connections, and I have some inputs already set up for my sound card, but what I want to do is go to the External Instruments tab. And I have already created one, but let's go ahead and remove this and start from scratch. So we'll add the external instrument and we'll call it Hydra. And we have one stereo return. And we can associate a MIDI device with that too. And we're gonna have to create a device. Um, I've already created one here, so we'll take a look at that, uh, how we do that in this panel. So we just give it a name. We can call it uh, ASMH. And then you want to go ahead and turn on all the channels that it's going to use, which uh, is all 16 in the case of MPE. 
And I'm going to go ahead and use my original one, which is the same, but I know it works. And so now we have a MIDI device and we have uh, some inputs. We'll go ahead and associate those inputs three and four that are coming in on my sound card. And we'll close that out. Now this is going to show up along with any of our other VST instruments. So we'll add the instrument track. And instead of selecting a VST, we'll select the external plugins and select ASM. And I'll add that track. I want to make sure I can preview it. Uh, then we'll go to the inspector. We want to make sure that we use any channel that goes to the device. And now we should be ready to play it with, polyphonically with MPE. So great, that works. We have our audio inputs and we have our MIDI going to the Hydrosynth the way we want it to. There's a lot more complexity you can add to this. And then of course you can record all of your gestures in the uh, Cubase application. <laughs>